the universe is being very no, just unkind you go. today. I swear I checked and double checked that the O was gonna be the right size. And tell me why, it is so tiny. Just to show you the low points of my day. We had a rough week. We had a really, really, really rough week. We had tornadoes, that was so much fun. This is so pretty. I tried it on Randy last night and it looked so good. it here because what I had done is deleted some very important footage of uh, explaining what is happening before this next clip because you can be like there is no transition it has nothing to do with anything I normally put on but anyways we have had some severe thunderstorms also pardon I'm in PJs it is actually a market day so um, fingers crossed we do well anyways we <laughs> had some severe thunderstorms and before this clip like the night before we had a in the middle of the night we woke up to tornado sirens and so we obviously were in the basement for a while and that got my motivation rolling of hey there's this creepy room in the basement it is an unfinished basement okay there is a random room down there that someone it looked like had lived in which is you'll see just a concerning i would n you'll you'll find out but there's this random room down there and um when we bought the house i have to give you a little info here and i i know i've shared this before but it's been years when we bought the house two years ago that was the only time i've been in it since this day that you were about to see because the room is absolutely disgusting there are dead bugs centipedes specifically we had an infestation all over it there is mold in there there it's just it's it's not usable um so we've kept the door closed is that good for must absolutely not um but when we bought the house every single door in the house had a different lock on it a lot of the locks didn't even have doorknobs like it was just a bolted lock and they had all different locks and so um you were locked in from both the inside and the outside and i can brainstorm many reasons that many is not the word i can brainstorm one reason two reasons why that might three reasons why that might be the case one um extra security if there's not a doorknob on the outside um people are less likely to try to come in two maybe you have someone or some like the man before us lived with his mom um and maybe she suffered from some kind of dementia or something where he needed to keep her in um or three where my mind goes to reasons we um don't want to think about so yeah, there's just this random room down there, and because we had the warning, or not, or, yeah, the warning and the tornadoes, um, I was like, hey, I want to make a comfortable spot so that when this happens again, because we, we live in an area, you're going to have tornado warnings, uh, we can go down there and not be just, like, surrounded by cat uh, hairballs that they've puked up for the day, <laughs> which thankfully they do that downstairs. Um, so yeah, that is why I'm going down there and I'm cleaning, just to give you that background information. And now I'm gonna bring you back to the video. <laughs> All right, this is the basement. Yes, I think I have shown you before. It is just a unfinished basement, right? Um, this is the room in question, and I was down here earlier. Pardon the noise, Randy's also sweeping upstairs. I was down here earlier, I already opened it, so my first initial impression of going back in for the first time in two years. Uh, 
is not on camera. It's very musty and disgusting in there. I walked in, I forgot. We had a centipede infestation when we moved in and there's a lot of dead centipedes in there. So I'm gonna warn you now, trigger warning for bug, I don't know what the word is if you have a phobia of insects. Um, there are dead insects all over the ground. I think the plan is, I just got, we went to Lowe's, I got everything I need for mold removal. I wanna take the floor out today, so I'm just gonna be ripping it apart. It's just, I'll show you, it's just vinyl sheet flooring. Um, ripping it in small pieces, rolling it and putting it into our trash bin. Um, that way tomorrow I can have a fresh area to just start zapping that mold. Does the flooring have mold on it? Probably. Am I wearing protective gear today? No. Is that dumb? Yes. Um, but okay, let's just go in. Ugh, I hate it in here. Okay. <laughs> Hype myself up. Mm. Oh, that smell. Okay. So here is the flooring that needs <laughs> taken out. Ugh. There's just centipedes everywhere all around the parameter. Spidey's down there. There's the mold. It has not grown, it's been, it stayed like that. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not gonna get you close, but any like black speck you see down there, those are centipedes. Now that I'm in here again, I don't feel like I want to do this. <laughs> I do, but I don't. Right. Who lived down here? <sighs> I'm just gonna put work gloves on. I have supplies. And we're just gonna roll it up and quickly get it out. And then I'm gonna take my clothes off, put them in the wash and take a shower immediately, all in that order. That should take me hopefully only 20 minutes. And then tomorrow we start on the actual like cleaning of it. So wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. I'm not filming this part because I'm already disturbed by the amount of bugs down there. And I don't want to like, my hands are gonna be disgusting. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, my hair is a mess. Happy. Wednesday, Wednesday. We are a week and a half out from the show. I need to <laughs> open up a bunch of boxes. Uh, we have a ring camera on our front door and um, my husband, I got an order for my blanks, my sweatshirt blanks that just came in and my husband had clearly seen like the preview of it, but he had only seen me with one of the boxes and so he thinks that I only got a box in and like he had texted and he was like, huh, that's a big box you have. Um, yeah, he didn't see the other big boxes that I also took in. So what we need to do is open those big boxes and look everything over and then I need to find a place to store it because if you can't tell, I have nowhere. I have nowhere. So I need to go into my closet and like make that top row um, storage for my blanks. And oh, I did get some artwork from Lowe's. Like literally most of our decor in our house is Lowe's clearance. So this was only $14 and it was originally like 60 to $70. Yeah, and it's really cute because it has like the wood framing. So that's going to go in our bedroom at some point this week and I'll probably put it up um, just because we're very busy this week. Um, but we just got back from my friend's house. I was helping her because she is pregnant and due in like a few weeks. So we were organizing some stuff. Um, so I just got home and put Asher to bed. So now we have to do the boxes. I did also so excited about this. I have a digitizer. So like I will make a, a design and then I'll send it to her and she digitizes it into an embroidery file for me. Um, because I've talked about this before. It's a lot of money to get the software to make a design, an embroidery design that you can put on your embroidery machine. Um, and two, it also takes time, a lot of time to do the digitizing. I think most people do 
uh, computer did like they don't physically do it like they may do touch-ups here and there and I, I believe that's probably what she does be that's more expensive so um, I don't do that I send a file of what I want and then I have Karen is her name she makes it into an embroidery file for me which is awesome because it's my design like fully whereas I like on my frog like don't stare like that guy is not my design it's someone else's that I purchase and like purchase the commercial rights to so yeah I like having my own like the cold checkered like that's my own Karen digitized it so like I'm trying just to do that but like at times where I'm like I just want a simple cute like I wanted a frog design I was like I don't really want to put the effort in when that is like adorable on and I'll just buy it because it's not going to be a core collection it's just like Whatever, I needed it for St. Patrick's Day as a non-St. Patrick's Day item. So, anywho, long story short, I, you guys know I made my tumblers. I had a, I had another guy um, do the engraving for me to test them out. So I did the same design. It's my mommy, like mama, mommy, mama design. Um, so that's what I did on the embroidery. And I'll show you because I just stitched it out. It's so cute. So I obviously am not going to be using yellow, but like I, I told you guys before, I always use a color that I don't have anything in the works just so I don't waste some of the, like those thread colors. Like I have active designs and I don't want to waste it. So yeah, I'm so happy. I actually haven't even gotten this out yet. Let's look at it. This is a five by seven frame, which is the biggest my... Um, don't mind the mess. Asher was in here messing with things. Biggest my machine will let me do. And it looks so cute. So I have block lettering like filled in and then I have some where it's outline lettering and then I have all the flowers. So I need to figure out, I was going to put it on my, I told you guys, I love this color. It's comfort color. So like it's more expensive than my other sweatshirt. So I haven't like picked something to put on it yet. I've just been hoarding them and I wanted to do this on them. But like now I'm still in that phase of like, I don't want to put anything on them because I like them so much. It makes no sense. Because they're discontinued. I can't even get that color again. I'm so upset. It's so pretty. Why would they get rid of that? Um, hopefully they bring it back someday. But Comfort Colors is more expensive. And so I don't even know how to price something like that. Most people sell those for 60 I do not feel like I can do that. I just don't. I don't think that they're worth $60. But then I'm like, well, if I price them my normal 40 I'm really not making much because they were more expensive. <laughs> I don't know. I need to figure it out. I don't even know if, like like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do... I might want to put this on my gray sweatshirts and do, like, white and hot pink or something. I still need to figure that out. I need to cut this out so that I can place it on to see kind of, like, the size of it and everything and, like, what I want. But it's really adorable, so I'm excited about that. Let's go ahead and... Max... Okay, my battery, I just looked at it, had two bars, two out of four, and now it's dead. Tell me, I need a new battery. That's that's all that means. I'm going to put you guys on music now, and we are going to open up the boxes. I'm going to look them over, and then I'm going to bring you back in here because we need to store them. So, enjoy the music. Satisfied, my weakness comes and goes. My weakness comes and goes. I'm reaching out for the easy high. Please fortify the strength of mine. My weakness comes and goes. My weakness comes and goes. Monday. It is <laughs> early, early morning today. I 
don't know why my throat like it comes out kind of like a laugh it is a cough though um <laughs> it's just like a tickle but we had to wake up super early this morning because asher had a tongue and lip tie cut this morning it's called like a phrenectomy or something like that i don't know i'm sure i'm not saying that correctly um but he's sleeping right now we're hoping that just like helps his speech development uh he didn't have any issues feeding when he was little so it's weird because like that's normally when you find out that your child has a tongue or lip tie is if they don't breastfeed well or just like feed in general um and he was so good and so obviously we had like no clue to even look for it but as uh obviously he's getting older and his speech isn't quite on track with where they want they looked and they're like, well, he has a tongue and lip tie. So we got that removed today. Um, hopefully it stays uh, un unattached because we unfortunately had to go through a surgery center where they like cut versus if you get yours lasered, which a lot of like pediatric dentists have that, uh, they are more likely not to reattach if that makes sense. I don't know, I have friends that have done um, tongue and lip ties on their kids and I had one that did two surgeries and then one uh, laser surgery and obviously they had to keep going back because the two like cut surgeries weren't working. Um, I shouldn't even be talking to you guys right now with my embroidery machine on. I'm so sorry, I wasn't even thinking. It's just like background noise to me now. So I will show you guys in a minute kind of like what I'm doing here because I just realized I haven't like been updating you this week and everything of that nature has been happening this week so I'm gonna get off we need to pack up an order I got a TikTok bookmark order for this beautiful kitty cat bookmark and yesterday we packed up Julia a Stanley charm which I didn't film that so but that'll be on YouTube shorts if you watch that Julia if um, you didn't leave me a like note saying you're from YouTube if you're from here Thank you so much. I will have that on YouTube shorts for you. Um, and then this one, I haven't like looked at the slip to see who it is yet, but we'll pack her order together. Or his order, I don't actually don't know. Um, I'll see you soon. <laughs> had the worst night of just being sick and puking two nights ago and it was right after his milk um, bedtime routine and milk just like curdles immediately inside you apparently because he threw up TMI I know um, curdled milk all over our rug and on the couch and when i tell you <laughs> it has smelled like rotten milk for the last two days it's it's nasty yesterday our in-laws brought well my in-laws brought over their um, carpet cleaner and my husband like took all the couch off the rug and like deep cleaned it over and over um I use like our normal cleaner on it too and it's just not the smell is just not coming out and so he went to Walmart and bought this orange like angry orange odor eliminator 
and it smells like oranges. It smells it's very, very strong oranges right now, which if you're comparing rotten milk to oranges, yes, I'd rather the oranges be the winner of the smelling contest. I just also don't want it to smell like you're covering something, you know? So hopefully this like fades, it would have to fade out, but hopefully it doesn't fade out into milk again. So we're doing that and then let me, it's really messy, it's so messy in here. So I've been like doing my bookmarks, I've been doing my embroidery, um, and then <laughs> coming into the kitchen, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Oh, what happened over here? Um, I dropped all the oatmeal all over, and so I'm gonna have to go and get the sweeper, and well, I'm not gonna sweep all that up, but like some of the areas <laughs> I'm probably not gonna be able to get, and, um, and then just mess that we need to clean. And then in here, I got some of my beads in, which I'm really excited for. Like, look how cute. Actually, I don't even know what to show you guys. Um, ugh. Oh my gosh, these. These I'm so stoked for, these little butterflies. I'm gonna make some charm necklaces out of them. I bought some of these, like, they're supposed to be non-tarnished. I haven't even, like, opened it to check it out yet, but they're supposed to be non-tarnished chains. And I wanna make little butterfly charms. And I have a, well hopefully, I have a strawberry festival coming up. So I went ahead and pre-ordered all these little strawberries for some bookmarks and Stanley charms. Um, and if I don't, I think I told you guys this, if I don't get in that festival, strawberries are still really cute. So I'm excited. I'm doing an eclipse festival, so I bought some eclipse stuff. Uh, it's going to be really adorable. Some of those bookmarks and charms, maybe necklaces even. Um, I'm <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> I told you guys I would show you what's going on. Okay, so I had a design digitized and made into an embroidery design, which is awesome that that's able to be done. Um, and it's so cute. Like, look at this. This is the same design as my cup. It's beautiful. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I have I still have no idea what happened. I would just. I mean, you saw those two are perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> I go to take this off my machine, because apparently I didn't realize it halfway in. Um, whoa, what happened here? The, it went, like, once all the letters were done, when I went on to do the flowers, which was another segment, they recentered themselves, because I had shifted over, because like you can see my mark for like the middle here, my watermark that comes out on the wash or with water. Um, but it has shifted over back to normal. And so the O, which is this flower, went into the M. And I was like, how can I salvage this? Because I already knew I wasn't gonna be able to sell it. This was gonna be a misfit sale, right? Um, and I was like, let me go ahead and embroider an O <laughs> into the middle and it will look fine. I swear, I checked and double checked that the O was going to be the right size. And tell me why, it is so tiny. Like, this just makes me laugh. I don't even know what, <laughs> it's going to be in a misfit sale. I just don't know <laughs> what price to put on it. This is a comfort color sweatshirt. This is expensive. I'm upset. So, I don't know. Normally, I do my Misfits at $20 for sweatshirts. I just don't know if I can put a $20 Misfit price tag on this. I'm not sure. And as you guys know, comfort colors are like, it's $20 to buy them. So, like, just the blank alone. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to just, like, triple check this once my letters go done that my flowers are going to be okay. So... That's what's happening in my life. I'm probably, <laughs> I think I'm gonna let you guys, oh wait, I wanted to show you one more thing. I did start, get a head start, I think I showed you, on these Mama Stanley Chimes. I think I'm gonna put some cute little gold butterflies. Why is that not focusing? I'm gonna put cute gold butterflies at the bottom of these. So these are gonna be adorable. So they'll be done, probably next time I see you, I'll be like either working on them or finished with them. I am upset because like, I buy my chains in um, bulk. It's like, I get 26 at a time. Is this, why is this not focusing? I get 26 of these at a time. Um, 
wow, what is happening? And I just ordered these in. And tell me why only 14 of them are usable and the rest are broken. Why are you not focusing? Why are you not focusing? And I should just buy the wire itself and like put the clasps on, but I've been lazy. I'm like, these already come with clasps. Uh, so why not just buy them? And then I get little cute letter charms that I can save up for other things. Um, but well, tell me why. I bought 26 and only 14 of them work. The other was at 12 are broken. So I'm gonna have to buy some lobster clasps and fix them because it's the clasps that are broken. It's just really annoying. So I'm hoping, I don't really wanna return them because I don't think I have, I think I do have enough to return. But at the same time, I have a show next week. I don't know. I guess it would it would work if I like returned them all and then got new ones. It's just it's just annoying. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. I have them all like dangling. I just need, I think I just I'm gonna get the lobster class and salvage them rather than return them. So I feel like they'll just throw them away. Anyways, um, I'm gonna head out because I need to clean up before Asher gets up, which is like literally any second. And then we're gonna go hopefully on a run if he feels up to it. He just hasn't been eating though, so I feel bad. Like, I mean, I feel like being outside would be helpful. We'll see. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll update you guys on how that sweatshirt goes. Um, very nervous, very nervous. Uh, again, like, Unless you have a, a passion for embroidery, like, <laughs> it's a lot of hassle. I don't, I, again, I will say this many, many times, if I could restart this over, instead of getting an embroidery machine, um, I would have either gotten, well, I probably would have gotten a more expensive, like, six needle one, or just a scratch, even better, like scratch the embroidery altogether. Just buy yourself like a sublimation printer and a heat press. And that'd be a good start for you. Not like I'm glad I have what I have. Like I feel when it's good to me and I'm good to it, like we create nice things. But at the same time, it takes a long time. So yeah, I'm gonna stick to while I appreciate her. Um, we are not like great friends, and I would not repeat what I did over. <laughs> so, just in case any of you are like, I want a machine, um, you probably don't. You really probably don't. Anyways, that is all. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. In fact, <laughs> only to tell you guys that a disaster has struck are two out of four of. The shirts that I didn't want to embroider because of this. I did not want to do it, but I'm like, no, nah, Brittany, you have to use your blanks. You don't want to spend more money. Um, I'm done. I am done. I am done. Do you see? I had to cut off just to get out of the machine. I had to cut it. Um, the <laughs> bobbin thread got tangled underneath. It unhooked my uh, hoop, and then it sewed upon itself because it was obviously all jumbled up and that is why I am done. This one is just like trash now which sucks so much. Ugh. It's gonna turn into a Franken shirt I'm sure. I don't like just trashing trashing them um so I might just use it as a test design but like as you can see my Franken shirt pile is pretty large. So do I need another one? Absolutely not. Do I want to throw it away? No, because that's wasteful. I need to figure out, turn it into a, a washcloth though. This is really nice fabric. Oh, so stupid. Okay, anyways, I think, I don't know, I think, it looks so good embroidered. I think I might do, I don't know, I might do a few more if I can, but otherwise I think I'm going to turn this into a DTF uh, print that I can heat press on because that one will save me so much time and two I can make them a tiny bit less expensive also <sighs> so frustrating all right I just wanted to show you that before I got off here just to show you the low points of my day <laughs> okay bye I just took off the bobbin area and you can see how much just piled all up in there so 
Not that that was the reason, but that was an after <laughs> math effect of it. Ah, so cute! <laughs> I love them! Oh, they're so cute. Sorry, my voice is out. I just needed to show you guys that. I just put them little charms on. Oh, they're so, so adorable. Good morning. It is the day before the show. Things did not go as planned this week. I have a feeling I wore this in the last video I filmed with you guys. If I did, just know days have passed. I am just lazy and when I wash my clothes, I don't immediately put them away because it's in a different room. My closet's in our back room and it's either really cold or really hot back here. So, and I'm just lazy, like let's just be honest here. I usually fold it, put it on a pile on my dresser uh, and then I wait like a few days. And so I wear the same stuff over and over because it's just like, I get out of bed and it's there. <laughs> just a, a little Brittany insight for you. Um, yeah, we we had a rough week. We had a really, really, really rough week. We had tornadoes. That was so much fun. I think in last week or the week before, we had a tornado warning. And I was like, I need to get that basement room done that I was telling you guys about. Um, and unfortunately, it is not done yet, and we had another warning, and this one was a little scarier. And, um, yeah, we still don't have it done, so I need to really, after this show, I'm gonna focus... <laughs> Actually, that's false, because I have another show two weeks later, and it's a big one, and I have a show that next week. I'm gonna try to focus on that basement room, um, because tornado season is here, apparently. So, um, yeah. What we need to do today, because the show is tomorrow at Ryan Guys, it's a one day. Um, I wanted, I had this whole week planned to prep, and I could not do that because my husband got the flu. My, I think Asher had it. I'm not positive though because he had a lot of symptoms of it, um, and I got it a few days ago. And so I, I've been out. I have been. I couldn't do anything and that's sad I feel good today but it's like this is the day where I'm just packing stuff up you know I can't even make anything because I just don't have the time so I'm like you can tell by my voice I am a little stressed um I do have a lot of stuff still like I'm, it's not like I'm going to the show with nothing it's just I'm going to the show with a lot less than I wanted to um and it is St. Patrick's Day so I'm hoping we get some of those like loosey gooseys out and about um yeah, so really, you're just going to see me beep beep bopping around, uh, putting my sweatshirts, like folding them, putting them away. I didn't, I made four new ones that I'm bringing, like, so I'm only adding four, and that's not, like, taking into account the people that bought sweatshirts. I'm, I'm definitely going with less clothing than I did last time, which hopefully doesn't hurt me. Um, I am <laughs> going to take my... I have a stack of t-shirts. You'll see me putting price tags on them. I have a stack of t-shirts I'm going to put in my misfit bin that I'm just discontinuing. I'm just making new styles. Um, I don't love the color schemes of them, so hopefully those sell. And other than that, oh, I did make, oh, they're so beautiful. I did make new, I had been hinting at these because I'm really hoping to get into a strawberry festival. They were supposed to give out the um, invites, like acceptance letters this like past couple weeks and so I'm hoping the fact that I haven't got one doesn't mean that I just didn't get in and they're just not notifying me um but I made I made some anyways so this is my strawberry festival collection it's just a gorgeous like pink and gold toned strawberry and it has a little strawberry leaf on it it's so pretty it's so pretty and I made some Stanley charms of it too like I said like it's not I obviously want to get into that festival and like these are because I need to start prepping for it because it's in like two months uh, and it's a big one and if I don't get in though like it's still summertime vibes I still think these are gonna sell and then I also finished off my mama Stanley charms I had to put on I think I had shown you the actual like ma the wording but I needed to put a little charm on the bottom so I just put this dainty little gold butterfly and these are gonna go on all of my tumblers because it's gonna be a, a a deal so like you get the tumbler and you have the charm too with it so I think that's so sweet I unfortunately also ran out of my chains so I'm gonna go with less Stanley charms than wanted because every single one of my mama charms is going with a cup and I've been selling a lot of Stanley charms 
so a lot of my inventory has gone just to online sales. So that sucks too because those are big sellers the last show. Anyways, <laughs> enough complaining. Um, I also am so excited. I'm getting a new bead organizer in and it's one that I can like take with me. It's technically a tackle box, uh, but I was like on Amazon googling bead organizers and apparently a lot of people use tackle boxes for them. I want to say uh, Archery Corner uses tackle boxes for her keychains. So I, I understand it. It's just heavy duty or you like heavy duty. It's just heavy duty and you can take it places and not worry about it breaking, um, which is the goal because I need to take my beads to my shows because I'm so excited. It's not this show, but it's in two weeks my show. I'm doing my uh, charm bar where they're going to be able to pick out their bookmark charms, their Stanley charms, and I'm also coming out with charm necklaces. So be on the lookout for that. This is so pretty. I tried it on Randy last night and it looked so good. This is beautiful. I have no idea what to price this at. I need to look up and see how much all of my um, like base supplies were and then decide. I'm thinking it's probably going to be like that 12 to 15 range. If I could get lucky, I would love it to be 10. I just don't know. So I feel like those bigger butterfly charms were kind of expensive. Anyways, <coughs> I'm gonna put you on music and then we're going to pack everything up. I might do a few things if I have time of making things. But other than that, we're gonna load the car and then I will give you guys an update. So, wish me luck. This is all I have. That's not a lot. everything packed we are taking two little tubs one big tub that has all my clothes in it and um, this just has all my like jewelry charm uh setup like coverings like everything else in it i'm only taking one box of glasses because i didn't have time to prep any more of my cups which is fine because i actually didn't have enough lids anyways so we're only bringing 12 um and they haven't been like doing like so hot lately as it is and then I'm also bringing my tumblers over there, which I'm excited to try out. I still need to do pricing tonight on stuff because I don't know what I need to list stuff as, specifically my tumblers and my necklaces. I need to figure out what price to do. And I need to start packing this up now. I'm feeling unprepared, but I think it will all work out. It's just weird the amount of prep I did not do for this one. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm obviously taking you guys with me, so I guess I will see you in the morning. And it's the end of this vlog. Be on the lookout for next week's vlog, which is going to be the actual Brian Guys Brewery. St. Patrick's Day show. I don't know. Words aren't coming to my brain right now. Love you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.